you. <laughs> All right. So I'm just waiting for my... All right, she gave me the go-ahead. All right, well, let's get started, guys. Thank you for joining me um, here at the Sexy After Kids 2018 Online Expo. My name is Dawn Chanel Beckner, and I am your presenter for this time. Um, my presentation is on the power of monetizing our lifestyles, right? But there, there's the pre part before we can start doing that, right? And so this is called live, right? Love, laugh, monetizing your daily life. That's what we're going to talk about. Let's first, I want to touch on the live part, okay? Living. Life, right? What is life? Well, life is the best birthday gift you've ever had, right? It's the best birthday gift you've ever had. And you want life to be strong, you want living to be to be strong, right? So in order for you to have a strong, good life, powerful life, you need to understand language, okay? Language is is key. All right? It's how you communicate with yourself that's going to determine how your life is going to go, okay? So your language is 100% um, the key to your happiness, right? So happiness first and then success second. You, it doesn't work the other way around, okay? Happiness first and then success second. So when it comes to living and when it comes to our language, the reason why we are, um, the reason why language is important is because that's what keeps us connected to the source, the creator of all things, all things created the creator of all life. That's what keeps us connected, right? The power of our tongue. The, the flick of our tongue can determine how our life is, okay? So when we say live, love, laugh, living is where you're going to get your power from. The way you communicate, the, way, the kind of language that you use is where you're going to get your power from, all right? Um, now, you want your connection right you want your connection to the most high to be as powerful as possible in order for you to to expand right in order for you to evolve and let me i feel like the um the gardeners just came so if you guys hear some noise can someone just let me know if it's if it's disturbing um the feed or not all right just let me know um but again language and that and with language being so important by being connected to the most high if your language is not powerful if you're if the words that you use if the things that you say um are powerless then you're not going to reach the destination of the goals that you set for yourself right so the way we speak is important so think of it like this if you are you have your laptop or any type of electronic device that you need to plug into the socket if you're plugged into the socket, then you are you have a strong connection, you have a strong, powerful connection, and you're able to turn your lights on, turn your computer on, turn on the blender, turn on the, the toaster, the stove, the refrigerator, right? Everything. You're connected. But if your language is poor, if your language is not if is rooted in weakness, if your language is not lifting you up, if your language is powerless, then it's like having a short. It's like having a short in your power cord, right? It's like you're connected because you're always going to be connected. No matter what we do, no matter where we are in life, we're going to be connected. But the power, the source, the connection, the strength of that is what's going to, is what matters, okay? So again, language is what's going to power your life. If your language is poor, if you're saying like, think why you can't do it, right? There might be something that you want to do. Okay, there might be something that you want to do, but getting to that end result, you're going to you have hurdles to jump over and, and objections and things that might get in your way. Well, do, do you sit back and say, well, eh, I'm just not going to do it. Or do you say, this is the solution and this is my path and this is how I'm going to get to the finish line. All right. This is how you're going to get to the finish line by your language strong language, not negative language, and it doesn't even have to be where you might be downing yourself, right? 
You might be doubting others. You might be, um, you know, you might get caught up in, 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 a, in a phone conversation and the, the conversation might not be rooted in power. That conversation, the other person on the other line might be complaining. You might be joining in on the complaints. You guys will be doing this misguided energy, right? Misguided energy. Instead of complaining about something or griping with something, that's energy that being used inappropriately. You want to use that energy in a, in, a, in, a, in a better, you know what I'm saying? You want to use that energy correctly. You want to use your language correctly so you can be connected to the power of source with a strong connection, all right? So basically, negative language, saying anything that's going to deter you, um, joining in on a, on a bitch session or, or, or gossiping about stuff, it's not going to help you. So there we are, right? Live, love, laugh. We want to live our best life, and the best way to do that is a the way that we communicate and understanding that there is power in our tongue and that the way we speak is what we're going to receive. All right. So then I want to talk about moving on. <laughs> exactly. Stay away from dream killers. That's a very good thing, Kevin. Thank you for saying that. You definitely want to stay away from dream killers. I think of dream killers like this. You know, if I'm a, I'm a flame, I'm a, I'm a flickering flame of, of power and I'm strong and, you know, I'm energetic. I'm a flickering flame, right? Imagine me a little cartoon flickering flame. Oh, and then I come across Mr. Water Hydrant and I tell Mr. Water Hydrant all about my little flickering flame ideas of greatness. Like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and blah, blah, blah. And then here comes Mr. Water Hydrant. <laughs> Just like want to douse you, want to down you, want to steal your thunder, want to rob you of your happiness. That's one of those people that we can't be around. And if they are dream killers and their language is infecting you and it's not allowing you to have that connection necessary for you to get what you want, right? Okay, so let's talk about love. Love, and, and to, when I talk about love, I don't believe love can be defined. I don't think love can be defined. I don't think love can be contained. I think a lot of our concept of what we think love is really isn't what love is, right? It is not what love is. But what what is love? If love, if love can't be defined, if love can't be contained, well, for me, then that means that love is... All, the whole, you know, our source is our, is our creation. Love is what created us. Okay, sorry about this. I'm gonna flip this over. Love is what created us. Like we, we became because of love, right? We became because of love. Ooh, look at me. Hold on, I just spilled my water <laughs> on some mail. All right, I'm sorry. All right, so we came because of love, right? So. Our bodies, well, how can I say this? This is going to sound weird, okay? Um, but our bodies, like when you love someone, when you, when you care about someone, when you love someone, when you're in, in love with your husband or your wife, your boyfriend or your girlfriend, fiance or whatever, when you're in love, there's like this energy between the two of you. There's this energy between the two of you that is so intense that it finds you guys in a situation where you're showing and sharing that love. And then what happens? Well, in a lot of cases, a beautiful baby comes from that love, right? A beautiful baby comes from that love. Um, now, this same idea, the same true life situation where people make babies, right? It can go into projects not necessarily a baby right have you ever been around someone friends or who are very positive people people who you who you enjoy being around people who you enjoy sharing your 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 ideas with people who you could probably connect with and create something with right that's rooted in love that's there's nothing nothing can come if there's no love in the mix okay and we talk about love when i say love i'm not just saying oh when i'm in love with my my spouse or i'm in love with my boyfriend i don't have a spouse i'm a boyfriend <laughs> but you know you're not and let me know again if that um if that noise if that noise is bothering you because i hear it really strong I mean, maybe you don't just let me know okay and i'll go somewhere else um things happen things grow from love 
where things grow from love. That nothing, nothing can come without love being in the mix. So yeah, you know your language, right? You're like, okay, I know my language. I know how to be powerful. I know how to to, to maintain my my strength and my strong living, right? And then you're like, okay, well, how do how do you maintain that? Well, you do that by making sure love is the center, right? Love is the center that is going to create the outcome for you. Um, let me, uh, I'm really distracted by the, the gardens outside. Okay, I'm really distracted by the gardens. I'm so sorry. But, all right, so, so let's talk about that. Let's talk about what love can do, okay? Love created us. Okay, good. Thank you for somebody telling me. I'm going to switch rooms. Ah! <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So, yeah, so what I where I left off on is I was saying that pretty much nothing can come if love is not involved. And when I say love, I'm also talking about that powerful energy that can manifest and create great things all right so again we talked about life having a strong powerful life strong powerful connection then from that we maintain that by by love you know when we want to create something when you we have friends you guys might want to put together a business you might want to do whatever but it's grounded in love because nothing can happen from that all right so and i also talk about laughter now monetizing your everyday life all right to live your best life oh my god i feel like the art the the uh oh jesus all right <laughs> you guys can never say i did nothing for you because i got you in my laundry room and we gonna get this done switch you over there we go how's that everybody are you guys good are we good Okay. <laughs> All right. So we talked about the life. We talked about love. Now we're talking about laughter. You guys, some of you guys know I'm, I'm really into making people feel good through laughter because when you're, when you're laughing in that moment of the laughter, you feel so good that whatever's going wrong or in your life, it disappears. It dissipates, right? So when you are, when you're happy, you're at your best, right? Remember I said happiness first, success second, right? So um, the way that I monetize my everyday life, one of those ways is through laughter. I like making people laugh. I like being silly. I like um, sharing funny stories and stuff. So, like, I have certain websites where I might just be telling funny stories. A website that I created for myself, right? Like DawnChanel.com. I just talk about funny stories and things that happen. Um, or you might share a funny video with someone. Well, I don't do that in vain. Like, I, if I'm sharing something with you online, on Facebook, Instagram, or whatever, there's always an end result for me because... I'm monetizing my everyday life, right? So how do you do that? Well, for example, if you noticed on my page a couple days ago, I did a video of me polishing my nails. It was a new gel set. Um, I did a video, a little how-to, and um, and then I put some captions and stuff, and really cute. I used an, I used apps on my phone to help me monetize my best life, right? I use an app. I use... Um, Viva Glam Pro. It's a great app. I'm able to make fun videos of me living my life, turn it into a quick minute video, five minute video or whatever, and then I upload it and I put, I put, um, my site on there. Um, I give them a, somewhere to go where I get them off of Facebook or off of Instagram or off of YouTube and I get them over to where I really live, like my website, like my little home, my little my little life, my little business in, in cyberspace, right? So that, as I'm talking about monetizing your best life, that is one of the ways that you can do it, okay? Um, I, like, I like to wear interesting, fun, little, cheap, little stretch rings or little cheap little rings and like this one, and I, I wear them out and about, right? That's my life. I'm out and about. I'm at the grocery store, doctor's visit, or whatever. I have it on. So if I have it on, this is my daily life. Someone says, oh, those, those rings are interesting. I put a 
bunch on them because I want people to notice. And they might notice and I go, oh, we'll visit. And I give them a website where they can visit. And then there's another online business I created for myself. Okay. I, um, I, like you do, like I'm not the only one, but I wash my face, of course, in the night and in the morning. And I, I like to use the products that I like to use. One of those products is, um, one of those products is Aveeno Daily Scrub. I wash my face with that every day. Well, guess what? I've written a blog about my Aveeno scrub that I like to use, right? And then I, what I do to monetize my life is when I write that blog and I talk about the Aveeno skincare, I highlight it. I highlight it and then the whoever in the world is reading my blog and they click on the Aveeno it takes them to an Amazon page where now they can buy the same type of skincare that I use and then I get 10%. This is me monetizing my best life, okay? This is me sharing my what I like to do in life and still being able to monetize it, okay? Um, another way to monetize your everyday life, right? What if you like, what, like for example, I... Doctor trying to tell me I need to lose some weight. He has his turn. <laughs> but I've been finding fun, different types of ways to eat that are healthy, right? So I did a video of me preparing um, mango, avocado, um, tahini, like the different things for my little healthy snack. And I made a video about it, all right? That's my life. This is my real life. Make a video. Other people see the video. And guess what? Now they're interested in, in who I am. I, I just did a video of how to make, I don't sell avocados, all right? <laughs> I should, you have a tree, but I don't sell avocados. I don't sell, um, tahini. I don't sell any of those things. But when I make a cool little video, of, when I, when I have a, when I make a cool little video of me preparing something healthy, then I, I have my tags. I have like donchanel.com or I have something that the person watching the video will be like, oh, what's this? Okay. And then they may go, I had type up a little, a little blurb. I might mention the tahine. They might go on Amazon and buy the tahine. Um, if you, so basically what I'm saying is anything that you like to do in life, you can monetize that. So let's say, say you have a hobby. Your hobby, um, let's just say your hobby is arranging flowers, right? So that's your thing. You like to arrange flowers. You have a beautiful garden. You like to arrange flowers. Well, guess what? You can do a video um, or a video or a blog or a podcast or, or whatever talking about how you like to arrange flowers, what it does for you, how it makes you feel, how, how it relieves your stress. Like you might talk about that, right? And then when you talk about that, <laughs> when you talk about that, then um, and, and somewhere in that in that reading, you can put a little like you can put little links. So you might put a link about um, pots, you know, that you can put flowers in or seeds where you can buy seeds or anything garden tool related. Right. You can create those links. So, yeah, you want to you talked about. You know, you talked about arranging flowers, you wrote a little blurb, and you made it possible, you created buying opportunities within your, your blog so that someone else will say, hey, I want to do that, I want to relieve stress, right? People do that, people do that. Um, so basically what I'm saying is, you can take your life, you can write about your life, you can create buying opportunities in the, in the kind of medias that you use, podcasts, blogs, blogs, whatever. And then, you know what I'm saying? So you're not, you're not saying, hey, buy this or hey, buy that. You're creating suggestions within your um, medi different mediums that you're using so that you can monetize your best life, okay? Now, the other part of that is I don't want you to think that, oh, I'm going to type this blog and throw it up in the internet and I'm going to monetize my best life and everybody's going to know it doesn't work like that, my friend. And quite frankly, living your best life is not an effortless thing. You know, you do have to put something into it. So let's talk about that. All right. So 
I like to arrange flowers. This is an example. We like to arrange flowers, okay? And now we write these different blogs about, we talk about different flowers and different whatever on the, on the blog. And what you have to do in order to monetize your best life is you need to make sure that you get traffic over to where you are so that people actually can see and hear the things that you are talking about. All right, and you're like, okay, well, you're saying live, love, laugh, and you're saying monetize your, your, you know, you can monetize your best life, and, you know, you can talk about your life and link opportunities for people to buy, but then you're saying, if I just throw up a blog, they might not see it. That's exactly what I'm saying. That is exactly what I'm saying. So what we do, right, we are where, where are we all the time? We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, some of us are on YouTube a lot. People have their... Um, different types of things that different different mediums that they like to use so I'm on Facebook a lot I'm on Instagram just like all of us and that's a great opportunity for you to meet people and not say hey come over to my site and buy from me because we know that that's not how it works either right so this is how it works this is how you're going to monetize your best life all right let's take it back to the beginning number one we're going to watch the language that we speak so that we can be powerful so that we can always be connected to the power source of all so that we can continue to do great things right and in order to do great things it has to be rooted in love that love is not necessarily let's get married love but that love is you and I have this particular energy that is so strong that if we come together we can create and we can manifest something we can make a business right so things are, are rooted in love even if you're just doing it on your own you're not loving yourself if you're putting yourself down i'm never going to do it i'm never going to be well um this is too hard you're not loving yourself when you use that type of language right so live love then we have laughter you know how i use laughter but you can also use your own you can use laughter it doesn't have to be you creating a skit and being funny and doing all that but you might see something you might see one of my videos and it might be funny to you and i hope they are you share them right but you you are you are building these online relationships so now here we are facebook right instagram or wherever we are it's like i, I think of it like a party right if it was if we were at a party okay and we we're laughing and dancing and having a good time and sharing stories and we we're just having a ball at this party we're being social Right. We don't go around the party bugging out, mad, complaining about stuff. Look what happened here. And I can't believe this person. Da, 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 da. Those people who do that, let them do that. OK, let them do that. But if you're trying to monetize your best life, you can't do that. When you're online, when you're engaging, you are not saying, hey, come to my website. But you're commenting and you're you're building relationships and you're getting people to be interested in you. You're getting people to want to click on your profile because they're not your friend they're friends of, of your friend and they might want to click on your profile that's what you want you want people who don't know you who have never met you to become interested in you and how do you do that all right well let's talk about it let's just say for example um I have, let's just use my sisters for an example let's just say my sister post something and it's funny and we're all commenting on it right so comment 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 right well what do i do well this is a party right i'm not just gonna talk to my sister this is a party we're mingling we're talking we're meeting each other right so if this person above me says something cool i might do it. i might do a happy face or 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 a thumbs up or whatever and that person's gonna be like well who is this liking and commenting on what i just said so then they click on your page and when they get to your page because you're monetizing your best life they get in your page and they're looking around like oh wow like this person is interesting and that's a funny story and oh man i really like that video and, oh what happens if i click this link oh man she has a youtube oh these are cool videos da, 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 da. oh wait on her on her youtube she just mentioned this website well, let me go check it out because people are nosy people want to know People are, people want to know what's going on. People are nosy, okay? So they're going to want to learn about you. And then if you're interesting enough, right, if you're interesting enough, they're going to delve into you a little bit more until you get them off of that social site and onto your own personal website, all right? So I have a few, um, I have two 
um, main websites that I that I use. I use the Don Chanel dot com and that's that's more so about like funny storytelling and funny quick videos but if you go to donchanel.com you'll notice that i have created buying opportunities within that site simply talking about stuff i like to do right things that i'm interested in okay and then i have another site that i do um it's breakmysafe.com breakmysafe.com meaning that many of us are we're we are we, we get in our own ways, we get in our own ways, we get stuck in our comfort zone, and we're like, I'm not going to move because if I move left, right, front, or back, I'm going to fail. That is not powerful language, right? Can't think like that, okay? We can't think like that. So I created that site, breakmysafe.com, and you go over there and you can, you, you start to be encouraged, inspired, empowered. You're like, whoa, but how did you get there? Well, you got there because you probably saw me post a picture and I tagged my site, or you probably saw me do a video and I talk about it, right? And I, and I get you from that party, right? I get you from the party and I get you back over to, um, where I, where, where I live, where I set up shop, okay? So that is how you live your best life. I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap this up. We'll hit some bullet points again because I really want to make sure that you understand where it's coming from. I know we have some interruptions. Thank you so much for hanging in there with me. Um, but here, th that's, that's basically the formula. To live your best life, you got to be a strong liver, okay? Strong liver. You already do have to have a strong, clean liver. That's crazy. <laughs> But to live your best life, you really have to um, speak powerful. You really have to speak power into your life. You really have to do that for yourself because you are doing yourself a disservice when you don't, all right? And you also have to do everything rooted in love, all right? Rooted in love, rooted in joy, rooted in happiness. Remember, happiness first, success second. And then um, we talked about laughter. I like to laugh because I do stand up comedy, I write skits, I do funny stuff. Um, and everybody, no, not everybody's a stand up comedian, but everybody can appreciate a good laugh, right? Everybody can appreciate a good laugh. And when you're at a party, parties are about good laughter and having fun. They're not about Debbie Downer and Mr. Gripe and Mrs. Ugg and Mrs. Ooh. You know what I mean? Those are not the guys that we want to party with, right? So we can't be that. We gotta, we gotta be joyful. We have to be happy, all right? And laughter is a really good way to help people feel comfortable and, and to like you and to be interested in you. So, again, you don't have to be all over the top, loud, crazy, wild like me. But there are, I, like I said, I do the videos. You can share my videos. And there's other people who are loud, fun, and bigger than life and, um, and who make funny videos. And you can actually share those videos. You share the video. You talk about what you liked in the video and create a buying opportunity based on what you just talked about. All right, so that is how you monetize your best life. We all have hobbies. We all have things that we love to do. Be it cook, be it swimming, be it paddle boarding, be it eating, be it painting, drawing, making videos like me. There's all kinds of things that we like to do. So you take those hobbies, you share your how-tos online, you create buying opportunities, and voila, you are actually getting income from... And, you, and the income doesn't necessarily have to be like... Oh, it's a network marketing income. No, no. It could be like all affiliate, right? It could be if, like, for example, had I did this um, talk with you maybe four months ago, then I would have geared you up to make sure that you're talking about cool stuff, right? Like like I did a talk about the Nintendo, right? Nintendo just, the Nintendo Switch just came out. So I talked about the N Nintendo Switch. And then I made sure that my Amazon link to buy a Nintendo Switch was was available. So I talked about the Nintendo Switch, right, from a mother's perspective. Then I offered an opportunity to buy, and I go on about my business. So you can do this with Best Buy. You can do this with Target. You can do this with Amazon, okay? You can do that, all right? And then when it comes to exposure, to getting people to see where you are, there's hundreds of podcasters out there who have followings. So hit them up and say, hey, can I be on your show? Can I talk about stuff so that you can drive traffic? All right? Here I am. I love to yap. <laughs> I love to talk. I love to make people laugh. I, I'm very, very energetic. And I use all of that to monetize my best life. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for um, hanging with me. And I'm going to let you guys go. 
I'm not cl clicking off just yet because I have to make sure that I get this um, saved and prepared for my moderator. Um, and uh, so I'm telling you guys bye, but I'm not hanging up. <laughs>